All right, YouTube, so today we are taking out the stock coils and uh, we're replacing my RS7 plugs with some new ones. So the stock coils are getting swapped out for the RS3 coils, which should help smooth out the timing a little bit. And my plugs are misfiring pretty bad, so that's what's warranting this change. I got about 13,000 miles out of them. Um, on average, guys are getting about 10K out of them, swapping them out, so. 13,000 hard miles. Hard miles. Hard miles. <laughs> All right, so first things first is the 10 millimeter uh, bolt in the tops. So you take them out. There's two of them. What's up? There's two of them? Oh, so there's a bolt and then there's a long, long nut. So Volkswagen, um, at least on this engine here, the MQB, the uh, the coils are attached to like this line rather than like individual cords. So to get them out, you got to undo each snap. It's on there pretty good. That's all. So what are we prepping with here? Annie sees all the threads. Well, Annie sees. Is there anything you should do coil-wise to prep them or just whatever? Yeah. Uh, the coils, I'll show you in a second. Dielectric grease. It's so dielectric grease for the coils. Just put it in like this. That's it. Cool. Oh. How do those plugs look compared to the the other ones? Because I went with different different brand. A little different. A little different. NGK is quality though. I like NGK. NGK I put in all my performance shit. So who I went with for this kit? Um, they go with New German Performance. So New German Performance, they have a, a kit with the four plugs, four coils. Um, they also give you the option. Like if you want to stay with the stock arc uh, plugs, you can opt in for that. It's like eight dollars less, eight dollars more if you want these plugs that I have, which is the stage one, stage two RS7 plugs, and then they give you a hundred and sixteen dollar upgrade option for competition plugs, which would be your stage threes, your high stage twos, shit like that. Um, for you guys running methanol, make sure you don't get plugs that are platinum. They will not cooperate well with your meth. And he seized up, tighten them in. What'd you say? Just don't do it like this at home. Don't do it with the drill at home. I don't know many people, if any, that do it like that. Besides me and my dad. <laughs> <laughs> so you got your dielectric grease in your coils, and then they're just sliding back in, plugging in. And then you're putting your bolts back on. And that's it for all of them. Tech tip, don't fucking plug them in until they're all done. <laughs> Word to the wise, don't plug them in until they're all in. It makes life easier. Since they are lined up in a row, it's just easier to pull all four down at once. Save you some hassle at home. But this can definitely be done in your driveway if you have to. Just need a spark plug uh, socket and a 10 millimeter, right? And maybe a pick to, to get the snaps off. So your long bolts, they go into this spot here. And then these will come back over top of this. Which are grounds. And you'll put your other, your other nut here. Back on that. Spark plug socket's a 5 8 That's it. Done. So that was good. All right, guys. So I've been using these RS3 coils now for, I guess, about three weeks, so almost a month. Um, Fantastic. I love them. Um, for more reasons than one. Obviously, the biggest reason is performance. So, with these new coils, they have a higher resistance. They're going to put out more power to these uh, 
RS7 plugs um, in a more efficient, more powerful burst, uh, which is going to further help you to burn all the fuel off during ignition so you don't experience knock while at high RPMs and, and pushing boost. So um, that's A number one. So they did their job there. The car, you can't tell so much in the logs. I mean, only because my logs beforehand, when it got cold, my, my logs, and due to the spark plugs being on their way out, uh, my logs weren't that good altogether. So it was hard to compare the smoothness um, to before and after. Um, I wasn't willing to do the plugs and then run logs and then do the coils and then run logs. So, um, so I did. I replaced both at once. So I had RS7 plugs, ran those for about 13,000 miles. Uh, most guys you're seeing them change them around 10k. So luckily I squeezed out 13k. Now I do a lot of more, a lot more highway miles. So uh, they got a little bit less of a beating. However, the looks like it seemed like when I, whenever I ran ethanol afterwards, there was always more and more and more and more misfires every time I would go to the tracker on ethanol. So ethanol, I'm assuming, is causing premature wear of the spark plugs. Um, whether that's a fact or not, I can't say that, but it seems that they are. Uh, so with that being said, the other reason I like these uh, coils, throttle response. Uh, the throttle response definitely increased with these coils. Now, same thing again, I changed out plugs at the same time, so I got some of my power back, but uh, you can definitely tell there's much more instant. As soon as, as, soon as the pedals hit, it's instant. Um, so I do like them for that reason as well. So throttle response, um, smoothing out timing. Now that I have dialed my logs back in, I am now at a more, not so much at the top end. So before my plugs went bad, I was, also at 25, 26 pounds, but more so top end. Uh, I was having weird timing corrections down the bottom. Now, uh, I am pretty much running 24 to 25 pounds of boost all throughout, where was I, about 4,000 RPM, or no, I'm sorry. I think 5,000 RPMs is when I start at 24 pounds. And then it, it, it eases its way between 4,000 and 5,500 5, to 25 pounds. Um, 25 and a half pounds so but so that moved it down a little bit before I was only at 23 for most of that with a with a 24 24 and a half pound at 5500 um, so it does seem like I was able to pull a little more out now it is relatively the same temperatures I mean I'm, I'm seeing 25 to 35 degrees now whereas then I was around 40 so it's not too much different um, so we're pulling out another pound of boost so that's awesome um, so I'm happy with that for that reason. Now, the other and final reason I like them is it actually gave the exhaust a different tone, um, a little bit deeper. So it's a little more growly now, and I like it. It's, it sounds meaner. And um, the other thing I'm getting a lot more of is before when I used to let off the throttle, I might get a pop, might get, might get two pops. Now it seems consistent. Uh, anytime that I apply throttle enough to get into the boost for a little bit, even if it's hand throttle, uh, whenever I let off, I seem to get two pops, um, and my pops are much more violent and loud now. Uh, so for the sake of your fun noises, these RS3 coils seem to have changed a little bit of that. So RS3 coils, I recommend them. After doing my research of them, I don't feel that there's any detriment to the car by using these. They were a direct fit. Um, I am going to post a link down in the description for it. So I got them from New German Performance. They have a kit that comes with all four uh, coils from the RS3 as well as four spark plugs. Now, they give you an option when you're ordering this kit to do either four new uh, stock plugs, uh, four of the Stage 1, Stage 2 um, plugs, which is what I did, um, and then they have NGK competition plugs that you can go to. Now, competition plugs obviously are going to be your best bet. They were an extra, I believe, one, I want to say 120-ish um, to the package price-wise. Whereas the Stage 1, Stage 2 plugs that I got were, I believe, an extra 10 bucks. So I think I got uh, all four plugs, all four coils for, I think it was like 186 after tax and all that. Uh, I don't believe I had to pay shipping, but I, I might be mistaken about that. Uh, but all said and done, it was 186, so the shipping might have been in there. So, highly recommend them. 
you know, New German Performance sent them great packaging. Uh, they came in the original packaging that they would get them from their supplier. Uh, I actually have it here still. So, coils come Hudson, pro Hudson products, which I know is what um, Drive Auto Works uses in Jersey, which is a very reputable performance shop and helps me out on ordering the parts I need when I can't find them or if I want to locally pick up, which is awesome. So thanks to Drive. Um, so yeah, they come in that. I kept the stock uh, stock coils for shits and giggles. Uh, I'm going to do a little more research on them and see if they're actually the same or a little bit better than what comes in the GTI. If they are better than what's in the GTI, I might put my R uh, coils in my GTI just for the sake of having something better. Um, so that's that. That's this install video and my impressions after having them for a month. Um, just get them. Just get them. If you're a performance guy and you're looking to, to max out on these cars, um, especially with us being plagued by IATs, this is another trick to pinch out a little bit more um, without pulling timing. So keep on dubbing.